What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about alcohol and bodybuilding, whether you can do it, whether you can gain weight, gain muscle and still go out on the weekends and enjoy yourself. And if you're watching this video, I assume you're into fitness, but you also want to enjoy a drink or 10 on the weekend. So we're going to start the video off with some facts. First of all, if you're looking to calculate any calories for your alcohol and you are looking to track them, head over to calorieking.com, I'll put it on the screen here, and you can actually track any drink that you're looking to drink that night. For example, on the Smirnoff Vodka, if you type in 20 mil and you can change the values here it actually comes out of 54 calories however alcohol actually has no macronutrients so how is that possible we know the calories are made up of proteins carbs and fats that's because alcohol technically has its own calorie value which actually equates to seven calories per gram of alcohol so that's almost as much as fat. That being said, you actually have to take in other calories into account, like carbs, especially when you're using mixers. And if you head over to dietplan.co.uk, I'll put that on the screen at the bottom, you can actually see the difference in calories with and without mixers. So with all of this information, you can actually plan around a night out. My suggestion is to cut carbs and also cut a little bit of fat out of your day, mainly because most of the mixers you'll be drinking will be high in carbs and potentially have some fat in them too. What most of us are gonna care about is, will alcohol actually hinder your progress? We all know alcohol actually causes dehydration and if you didn't know that's pretty much what a hangover is it's the dehydration of your brain and dehydration in the muscles can actually cause muscle cramping this is because your muscles are deprived of electrolytes it's also not going to help with fatigue and doms is going to feel worse water is essential for a number of benefits which are on screen now and dehydration is not a state you want your muscles to be in apart from that we're also looking at weight gain these calories are empty calories basically they're giving you no nutritional value like i said it's seven calories per gram of alcohol and those calories are pretty much just going to waste in your body. They're not the type of calories which are gonna fill you up and keep your body in an optimal state. Studies have actually shown slowed protein synthesis, and this was actually shown to be up to 20%. However, I am actually going to debunk this myth because it was shown in studies where alcohol was abused, and that's not the type of alcohol we're gonna be drinking as a student. You're not gonna be drinking six to seven times a week stupid amounts of alcohol to the point where you can't walk, I hope. Lastly, we're gonna sort of dive back into the hangover because last time I was on a heavy session, I know, and you probably know from yourself and your own experiences, you wake up in the morning, your motivation's not there. This kind of leads into a downward cycle and you just have no motivation to go to the gym. You start eating bingy foods, so you're gonna be in like, I don't know, chips and greasy fats and stuff. It's just not a good place to be in. That being said, you can actually drink two times a week, maybe even three, and make progress in the gym. It's not an end all, you don't have to stop drinking. You should definitely try to enjoy yourself on the weekends at university while you're still young. And also take a look at people like Max Tunin. He publicizes going out on the weekend and he doesn't vlog and stuff on those days. Yeah, he's killing it in the gym and making PRs every single week. And look at his deadlift, it's like, what, 600 pound or something ridiculous? <laughs> So it's not all negative and moderation is key. There are ways you can prevent some of the negative side effects of alcohol and they are. Number one, keep water by your bed, absolutely essential. This is literally crucial to not having a killer hangover. Number two, have a massive breakfast, high in protein, so get that bacon on the go, get those eggs on the go. Try to get in extra micronutrients throughout the day, so get your veg in, get your fruits in, it'll get you back into that healthy feeling, that healthy mood, and maybe even get you back in the gym that day. So taking all that into account, I do think you can drink alcohol while doing bodybuilding, gaining muscle, making progress should you do it more than three times a week probably not and just to finish off i'm going to leave you with a quote from arnold straight from his encyclopedia to develop the optimum physique you need to be in an optimum state of health couldn't have said it better myself that's straight from arnold and that's going to be it for the video it's going to sum everything up and i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something today if you did leave a like and a comment below subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one